Hi, my name is George Garcia, and I am a community manager for Fusion 360 Electronics. In this series of tutorials, we're going to be going from A to Z on a sample design. It's going to be a simple design, but it's going to show you everything you need to know to be able to work with Fusion 360 Electronics. In this video, I want to just walk you through setting up your first project. So when you open up Fusion 360, you're going to be greeted with a window like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the data panel, and you're going to see that we have a hub. Now, in Fusion 360, all of your work is organized into hubs. Hubs are the central focus point for working with your team. This is where your team is going to store all of their work, all of your projects. And by default, you're going to have a hub. By default, that hub will have your name, and it'll say, your name, Team Hub. You can create additional hubs, but by default, when you first get started, you're going to have one. Now, how do we work with the hub, and how do we start with the project? So what we're going to do is we're going to click here, New Project. You're going to get this space. We're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it A to Z Project. Okay, once the project has been created, we're going to double click it to go into it. And you're going to see there's nothing here. It's empty. So now what we're going to do to get started with our electronics design, we're going to go over here and click File, New Electronics Design. Now you're going to notice that the New Electronics Design is a very basic window. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to connect the schematic the 2D PCB and the 3D PCB together so that they synchronize. So this is the glue that keeps those files syncing. Now you can link to existing schematics or in our case we're going to create new schematic and a new PCB. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click over here and create a new schematic. So you'll see we have a new schematic. We haven't saved anything yet. The next thing we're going to do is create a PCB that's going to link to the schematic. So I'm going to go over here and say switch to PCB document, and that'll create a new PCB document. At this point, we can save our project, and that way we have our electronics design file. So I'm going to go over here to the electronics design file, and I'm going to click save. Now we're going to give it a name. The name is completely arbitrary. You can name it whatever you want, but just to keep everything in line, I'm going to call it A to Z. And I'm going to hit Save. Now notice the location is A to Z project. By default, it's always going to save to whatever your team hub is currently set to. So right now, uh, my, sorry, whatever your data panel is set to. So right now my data panel is at the A to Z project. That's why the location says A to Z. And now I'm going to hit Save. Now, fundamentally, this is all you need to do to have a project set up. So you create the electronics design file, you create the schematic, you create the 2D PCB. Once you save, now you see on the left side that the files have been created and they're part of the project. Now, one thing I want to highlight before we end this video on setup is I'm going to go back to the home of the data panel. And if you notice, I've created two projects that are kind of special, and I have them pinned. Pin means they're always going to show up at the top, and that's what that little green pin on the right indicates. Libraries and trash. As part of the setup, I recommend creating these two projects, a libraries project and a trash project. Why? The trash project is going to be useful once you decide that maybe you've been working on something and you want to trash it, you don't want to deal with it anymore. If Fusion 360 doesn't allow you to delete it because it's already been versioned too much, if you don't want to see it anymore, you just move it to this trash project. And it effectively is out of your way. You don't have to think about it anymore. Now, the libraries project is very important. And in another part of the series, we're going to go into details on the libraries. But just to give you an idea, if you go into libraries, you'll see that I have it organized into 3D models and then my libraries. By having a libraries project and making sure to put all of my library content there, 
I have a centralized location for all of my data. I can share this project with my team members, give them access. I can control the level of access with other team members. And in this way, I can make sure that we have a centralized location for our most important design assets, which are our libraries. Again, we're going to go into detail in this in another video in the series, but I just want to plant it in your mind now. It's a good idea to create a libraries project and store all of your libraries there. Additionally, you'll see that I made a folder called 3D Models. That's going to store the 3D models that our libraries will reference. So again, we're not going to go into detail now. This is just to give you an idea of how the setup works and why it's a good idea to create these. So just to recap, you want to create a libraries project. You want to create a trash project. I do recommend pinning them to the top. That way they're always easily visible and accessible. Then to create a new design, you go File new electronics design file and then from this file you can create the new schematic from the schematic you can create the board and at this point what we have is an empty set of files in the next part of this series we're going to start working on our schematic and we're going to create our first design thank you very much for watching and look forward to the next video